Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new vlog. Alex is already in holiday mode. I love this little hat on you, it's so cute. What'd you call it? Bush hat. Bush hat. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Guys, we are on our holidays. Actual, actual holidays. On this trip we're doing zero work, zero work. Entirely. The vlog doesn't count. Yeah, the vlog doesn't, this doesn't feel as much like shooting a campaign. And because I don't need to have makeup on, you guys don't expect me to always be glammed up. So that's what I love about it. We've just arrived in New Quay again, one of my favourite holiday spots. And we've checked in at the Headland again. Again, we stayed here last year and we had such a fantastic time. I wanted to come back again. And this time we're staying in one of their refurbished rooms. So this is the room. Let me just. Uh... Maybe we can put all the bow stuff in this and all of our bits and bobs from the beach, can't we? Like towels. That's perfect. But how lovely is this? This is one of their brand new refurbished rooms. So yeah, and then we've got loads of space. I've already, I've already unpacked. I don't know. Yeah, unpacking. Yeah, I've already unpacked all my things in here and in this one. Oh ah, look, you've left loads of room for me. You don't need it. You don't need it. I've got all my bits and bobs here. I mean, look, this is all of my, all of my essentials. Um, and then in here, you've kind of exploded into this room, but it's got a little seating area with amazing views of the very front over the coast here, which is fab. The back. Would you say that's the back? I'd say that was the front. Well, where's the entrance? Is that at the front or the back? That's that's that side, but I would say this is the back. Well, it's facing the sea. And then through here, this this is my favourite bit. The bathroom's so nice. It's like super brand new. Like how lovely is this with the tiles? In fact, these, I'm sure these are probably from the similar place we've got our bathroom tiles. Maybe. Like Portuguese styling. Yeah, it's well nice. Look how nice this shower is. Very nice. Shiny, shiny. So I can't wait for a bath in there. Oh, yeah, so I've just put on uh, some sun cream, a little bit of blusher. And that's all I can want to wear today because I'm going to go down to the beach. So the hotel, the beach there is Fistral Beach, which is like the big main surfing beach. So we've got a bodyboard in the car. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go chill on the beach, do some bodyboarding and enjoy the rest of the day. My little outfit for the night. I'm a bit scared that it's going to be a little bit chilly. Are you? With like the wind and things. Ooh, ooh, awesome. Oh, he's so shattered, bless him. <laughs> he's so shattered. Um, but yes, so this is this is a brand new Holland Cooper shirt, by the way. Isn't it gorgeous? And love how the sleeve kind of cuts halfway and then billows out. So lovely. Tucked into my favourite black shirt. It is really nice, that shirt, isn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's Holland Cooper. And then um, Valentino heels and I have the perfect thing to go with it so I wanted you to film this what is me. it <laughs> so I wanted to show you what Alex got me for my birthday oh I wonder what it was because <laughs> I haven't shown you guys yet and this was um so this was a gift just to give it a little bit of background this was a gift that I saw this in February in Paris and was swooning over it, it wasn't February or was it even September February uh, but, I'm, but I've seen it for the past year before that and I was, yeah, obsessed with it and for some reason I've never been back into the shop and bought it but Alex remembered how much I loved it so here's my birthday present from my amazing husband this Giorgio Armani classic black bag it's so beautiful, it's just so super duper classic the coolest thing about it is the strap can be worn three different lengths. So it's either the sh shortest length. It's really cool because I've never really seen this before with a bag, but you do this and then this then raises up one. And if you clip it into here, you can then wear it as, oh, you can wear it as like a shorter crossbody like this, or, if you want to do, then it goes in the longest strap. So it's like three different lengths of strap all in one. It's so beautiful and it does really fit a lot in here. I mean, it's got a front pocket. 
so you can put like more slimmer items in a back pocket and a little lipstick holder and a card holder at the back oh and a little slim pocket there at the, at the back of there as well i just love it i think it's so stylish and super classic and every time i kept seeing it in the shop i was like that is such a like a wonderful bag so i just can't believe it i had no idea this is such an enormous gift i love it so much <laughs> let me know what you think guys isn't it beautiful and it's perfect for tonight's black and white outfit and then with it just because it might get a little bit chilly i'm going to wear my jacket mousse my little jacket mousse blazer i bought this recently i love the shape in fact it's not a blazer it's a jacket and that's what makes it really quite wearable with everything because it's not a blazer style it just goes on over everything super cute and then i'm gonna put this on the mid length uh one second wait, wait, wait. put this mid length very nice <laughs> We really love this place. So the guy behind the bar remembered us from a whole year, year a whole year ago when he remembered us. Yeah, I know. Absolutely amazing. Right, really cool. So yeah, it's a place called Toast. In, Super friendly. In New Key. And the food is so great. It's all like little dishes, like tapas. So Bo's having a little sleep, bless him. Whilst we have date night, we've got cocktails on the way. It's just a really lovely little place. But yeah, the food honestly is awesome. Here we go, Alex has his Boulevardier. I've got my Palm Star Martini. Does that go in that? Well, it can do, but otherwise you can just shot it. Shall I just shot it? It's like sour, but delicious. And when that's gone down, I can then like, mix with them. <laughs> Is it as sour as the toxic waste you were eating the other day? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, yeah. Super nice. How's yours? I've tried it yet. Yeah. Garlic mushrooms, tiger prawns, and garlic and chili, smashed avocado. Mm. Holy moly, I am so full. <sighs> We polished off the majority of that, luckily, but wow, I am full now. It was delicious, and my porn star martini was fabulous. However, check out this sunset. Just to the side of the headland. So out of our room, this will be the view. For people that didn't watch the last vlog, the, um, so this, this hotel, the Headland Hotel, was the hotel that was filmed in The Witches, the original Witches. The big, the big mansion house was this hotel. Pretty cool. I mean, it is amazing though that you can see this from everywhere in New Key. It just sort of sits like pride of place, overlooking Festival Beach. It's really, really nice. I'd love to know how you come to own one of these because I really would like to buy one. Imagine that for you. And also, these apartments are enormous look at the size of these balconies like enormous still people out surfing festival beach oh dreamy but honestly my stomach look at this out the window this is the dream what a view admittedly we are a little bit tired it's only like quarter past nine but after a five hour drive this morning to get here and obviously we like we woke up at five. I also barely slept a wink last night because it was so flipping hot. It was the it was the day that was like 37 degrees, so it was so hot in the bedroom. I barely slept anyway. And then we were up at five. We're actually gonna get into bed and watch a film to fall asleep with Bobo. So as you guys know, we have been watching our Sky Cinema films. So this is another paid for advertorial with Sky. They've just launched Paramount Plus on Sky. So, you've got so many new programs as well as films on there. In fact, 
Haven't you been like obsessed with one recently? I've been watching a few. There's actually some really, really good stuff on there. I'm just um, finishing up. I think I'm on the final episode of The Offer at the minute. Um, yeah, you've been obsessed with it's it. It's amazing. I didn't, so basically, it's, it's about the production that went in behind um, creating The Godfather. Um, in I'm pretty sure it was the 1970s. But I had no idea of like the wacky story that went on while, yeah. they, while they were making that film. <laughs> yeah, it's you Matt, had no idea. You've been, you've been telling me, you've been giving me a rundown after each and every it's episode what has been going on. And it's mind. also, it's kind of like a fictionalised version of how they Real made events, The yeah. Godfather, including like the actors and the producers and the mafia that were involved in the actual production oh, of it. Yeah. But like the stuff that goes on is absolutely mind blowing. It's it's a bit of a slow burn to begin with, but then once it gets going, like it's... You've been loving it. It's unreal. But as well as that, isn't The Godfather on Paramount Plus on Sky? I don't know, I need to check. Seeing as we've only got our laptop, we're gonna get onto Sky Go, the app, so we can watch Sky Cinema and Paramount Plus. So there are quite a lot of films actually on here. I've got like a list of them that we can watch, babe. So Scream 5, Transformers, The Last Night, Mission Impossible. Great is that film. The new one, is it? Grease, oh, Pulp Fiction. Let's maybe watch that. I'd watch Pulp Fiction. It's a classic. It's it's a classic. It's a classic. Maybe we should watch that. School of Rock, oh, Flash Dance. <laughs> Meet the Fockers, No Country for Old Men. That's a great film. Have I watched that? You'd know, I don't think you've seen that. It might be a little bit too scary for you. Is it? It's like one of my favourite films. Is it really? It's so dark. I reckon we watched Pulp Fiction then. Oh yeah, I mean it's I such a great you film. I have Pulp haven't... Fiction but you've not seen No Country for Old Men. Pulp Fiction is pretty dark. Well I first watched Pulp Fiction. That, that car scene. <laughs> With Samuel Jackson. Oh my god, I mean there's so many dark bits in it, but it's so brilliant. And I mean I really love Tarantino as well in his films. I know they can be a bit brutal and a bit violent sometimes, but they're just so brilliantly shot and they're just cult classics, aren't they? But I think I first watched Pulp Fiction in media studies when I studied it for GCSE. Not GCSE, A levels. I did I did first year media studies A level and we watched Pulp Fiction in that. To like to go through it. We also watched A Clockwork Orange, and that was oh, I'd never watch that again. That's a cult film too. Yeah, I know, but it was just a bit horrific. But anyway, see, so yeah, let's watch that. Watch that. Let's watch that. Um, so yeah, if you are thinking of getting Sky, or if you have Sky already, do not forget that Paramount Plus has just launched on Sky. So now you can watch everything that's on Paramount Plus via Sky. Just another perk of being a Sky Cinema customer. Gosh, I'm looking very rosy. Wow, I really did go home on the makeup earlier. <laughs> right guys, we're gonna watch our film and sleep. We'll see you in the morning. Night. Good morning guys. Honestly, I am so excited to not have to wear makeup every day of this holiday. This is a real holiday for me, a real time to switch off, not have to feel glamorous, not have to feel that I have to put on any kind of show or get ready for anybody I can just be me so today I'm gonna to go for breakfast looking like this and I actually don't care I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip balm my lips a bit dry I did not have the best sleep unfortunately I was just I think I just had a lot in my mind but hopefully after a few days I'll be able to finally properly relax I've got a little bit of redness actually as well because I'm currently trying to get rid of all of my spots around my chin. I've been using a lot of my Illumia MD Bright and Clear solution. It's kind of like an acid toner as such. They would never call it a toner but that is kind of what it is. It is an acid liquid product that I put on to my face every morning, every night actually. I probably overuse it but I love it because it really kind of strips back any kind of dead skin and it really gets to places like these spots. So these were big really big two days ago really large and sore and now they're on their way out because i've been using that i also have some milia on my nose and i've still got a little piece around here and again they're both going because i've been using it but because of that my face does start to go a bit red because it's very much exfoliating it it's such an amazing product though if you are like me and have skin that isn't very acne prone or isn't very spot prone and you find now and again you get big breakouts that are super sore um really angry and you just need something to put on them that would kind of really help just wipe them out quickly. I would recommend if you're in London, go to see Emma at L'Atelier Aesthetics and ask about this product, Illumier MD Bright and Clear Solution. 
I think it's fantastic. I've used their products for years and I love it. The very organic shout out. But yeah, right, off to breakfast, it's very early. I'm sure this is where they shop parts of the witches on these stairs. Got my new shoes on. Look how shiny. Alex is out there somewhere. And me and Book, oh, me and Bo are chilling on the beach. Morning guys. So it's our third day here. I keep coming, I keep coming over to the spot, don't have to film. Just because this is a nice little spot by the window. So yesterday I think I filmed a little bit and then forgot to film more. Like I said, we are still trying to have a holiday, so please forgive me if there are times when I'm like, I just don't want to pick up my camera right now. You know, I'm trying to kind of enjoy the holiday while showing you a little bit of what we're up to. But equally, if we're just sort of chilling out and hanging out, I feel like there isn't loads that I kind of need to show you. A really lovely day yesterday. It was really cloudy and foggy all day. It wasn't warm. I went out for coffees and breakfast at our favourite coffee and breakfast place called Box and Barber. We're going there again today, so that's our third day. Um, it's, it is the most fantastic coffee ever. It is just amazing. And the cakes they do are out this world. So, well, first of all, we went downstairs here for breakfast. I had a little bit of, like fruit salad breakfast and a little continental breakfast. Then at like 11 o'clock, we went to Box and Barber and got breakfast again. <laughs> well, we got coffees and cake. Yesterday was so cold and it was a bit wet and windy. I realized that I don't have any kind of rain mac, as you found out on that Finland trip. And I saw this one, it's really cute. It's, it's double-sided vans, and it's like baby blue one side. Rebecca's gonna love this. Baby blue one side, and the other side is kind of like this beautiful pastel tie-dye thing. And it's so great, and it was in sale. And I just thought if it means, if it's raining the rest of the week here, then at least I've got like a little waterproof jacket to wear. So I love it, so cute, got that. And I also bought myself a hoodie as well, because again, I forgot to bring any hoodies or anything warm at all. I was really manifesting with this trip. And then we went onto the beach, Alex did some surfing, I chilled with Bo on the beach. And then um, we went for pizzas on Fistral. Um, a place called The Stable. They do really fantastic pizzas, like a whole menu of pizzas. Today I'm wearing my little Gucci play suit. Um, I would just wear it like this, but I've got a feeling that it might be a little bit chilly just to wear that on its own with no sleeves. So I'm gonna put this on too. With it, warm it. Oh my gosh, I'm not showing my, my new bag. I'm absolutely obsessed with this new bag. So I sent this as a little gift the other day. Um, and I'm just in love, in love with it. I feel so lucky. The size of it and the shape, it's like a really small little hold-all bag. It's a really beautiful grained leather from Carolina Herrera. So it's a little logo there. And I just love the fact it's got this canvas strap. So you can throw it on over your shoulder. It's just a really great, size it's just kind of not too big but it's also not too small so i thought i'd take this out with me today because i'm just absolutely loving it loving it so much and the color is just perfection it's like the kind of yellow that i love breakfast Done. I only got a couple of clips there on my phone because we're too busy to get into our food. However, now we're ready to get out onto the sea. I'm wearing my new wetsuit, guys. How cool is this? Let me show you in this. God, it's so cool. Don't I look the part? I look like I know what I'm doing. Oh, I definitely do. No, I do. Gosh, it's so messy in there, Alex. That's all Alex's stuff that's exploded. That's ridiculous. My stuff? Tidy! Yeah, this is my full perfect moment wetsuit. They just started doing wetsuits and I saw it and was like, mine, this is so good. So great and then obviously it's just got the zip up the back. It's almost like a thicker, a slightly thicker legging material. So it's not like Alex's, it's super thick. We did get Alex one. It was really nice, it just doesn't fit. It just didn't fit, it was just a bit too small for you. We I got you the medium. The first thing I bought is a lot. This is like a big large. Yeah, we well. had to get you a large. So I, I messed up and got you a medium when you needed a large. I would have picked a medium. Then. So Alex had to go out yesterday and buy himself a wetsuit. But mine was perfect. I sized up actually and got a small in <coughs> mine. And this is perfect. Sorry, I should have sized you up as well. I didn't think. This is a small and it fits really nicely. So we're going to go out now onto the sea. I'm well, going to go first. I'm ecstatic about it. Oh, he's so tired. <laughs> Honestly though, as soon as he sees the water and we get his B-A-L-L-L -L -L out, he's going to be so happy. 
Are you ready? Come on! Oh my gosh! He's bringing back the goods. He's bringing back the goods. Oh, hell yes. This is fantastic. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm a shadow of my former self. Just, I'm a Percy pig. Hey, baby. Mm -mm -mm. What a gorgeous day we've had. We had the Rickstein fish and chips on the beach. Most expensive fish and chips in the world. It was 50 quid for two of us. Um, but all good. It was delicious either way. My face is all red because I've got so much salt water and sand kind of stuck to my face and I keep rubbing my face stupidly and I'm like exfoliating myself to the knives. But then my brother and his girlfriend Chantelle have come to join us for a few days in New Quay. They're staying at a hotel just over the other side of Fistral Beach. So we're both literally on opposite sides of the beach which is cool. So they came and joined us about three o'clock and then me, my brother and Alex all went into the sea bodyboarding and it was so fun. The waves were enormous and like were really like crashing. We had an amazing time. So I went in in my wetsuit which kept me a lot more warm, that's for sure. Oh, and then Alex is now in the middle of a spa. He's having a little massage. Baby boy is absolutely shattered at this point, bless him. Just look how blissful though it is outside. Look at these little birds. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Little tiny starlings, oh. Oh my gosh, there's loads of them. This is so sweet. I think they've seen me, I think they've seen me. Wow! <laughs> It's so wonderful. So that's where we've been all day on Fistral Beach. But yeah, when, when the sun gets to a bit lower like this and it just reflects off the sea, it's just blissful. Like it is literally like English paradise when this happens. It is just the dream. It's heavenly, absolutely heavenly. Gosh, I am so dry. Wow, okay, I need to get a shower. I've got a lot of moisturizer on. Okay. On this one, it's very rosy. <laughs> You are so burned. Always wear your sunscreen. <laughs> Definitely not a tan. We're on our way to Nuki now for uh, for dinner with my brother and Chantel. We're going to go to 12 Beach Road, which is a restaurant we've been to numerous times. I was wearing this earlier as well, but it didn't get a long enough outing, so I'm wearing it again. We are having some food. Guys, say hi to the vlog. Hi. Hey there. Hi. Little one's having a little snooze in here. Excellent choices of food all round. Loaded fries! This looks so cool and like haunted manor vibes. We'll watch when we get Very cold. We're gonna finish off uh, the boys and then uh, we're gonna go to sleep. What would you give the boys out of 10? I'd give it maybe uh, eight. Pretty good. Yeah. I'd give it an 8.5. Yeah. It's good, it's just very brutal and very graphic in every type of way. <laughs> Good morning guys, we're back for breakfast. It's our favourite coffee shop, Box and Barber. Alex burnt his face yesterday, bless him. But look at this coffee, it's perfect. Oh, what did you get? Chai latte. Dirty chai, nice, nice. We're having some overnight oats and some banana bread. But honestly guys, the coffee here is the actual best. This is it. I wanted to show you this, because it's so beautiful. I don't think it's quite right for the new Key Cornwall Beach. It's definitely not quite hot enough, but next time we go on like a really lovely warm holiday somewhere, or a trip, so gorgeous. First of all, the bikinis is one of those really flattering bandeau styles. And then I love the kind of elasticated sides to this. Don't you think so, Bubba? Is that like, yeah. Then this over top, it's really lovely, it's a full maxi, little belt, colours are gorgeous, so beautifully made. I'll leave it linked down below if you are looking for like a, a long style, what would you call this? It's not a caftan? It's more of a kind of maxi cardigan caftan I suppose. Um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning, so stunning, it's just not quite right for the beach, it's just not warm enough really. Um, I will likely have this bikini on with a hoodie over it, let's be honest. So, but I definitely, I wanted to quickly show you because it's so, so stunning, but yeah, I'll leave it. Oh, I'll leave it linked down below. I am full from breakfast. <laughs> right, packing up our bag for another day at the beach. 
This has come in so handy, I don't know if I've shown you that I've got this yet, but this Holland Cooper beach bag. I mean, it's not necessarily a beach bag, it's just a massive bag. It's so brilliant for the beach, we've been taking everything in it. We've been taking all the baby stuff with us, our wetsuits, extra clothes, etc. It's just kind of, just really big and it's perfect for beach days. So we are just all packed up now, ready to go. I also haven't shown you. Technically, I'm seeing these as another birthday present because they literally arrived on my birthday. These are so fabulous. A new pair of Roger Vivier sandals that the team sent me and I'm just in love with them. I have nothing like these, don't mind my toenails. Um, but they're just so, so, so great with the very signature Roger Vivier style with the large plaque over the top. Um, and they're just so comfortable, like extremely comfortable. You might have heard me say many, many times, I can't stand sandals with a toe post because they just rub the life out of me. These are just fantastic, I love them. Also for today at the beach, I've gone for my Holland Cooper jeans. Technically, I won't need jeans, really. It is a bit too warm for jeans, but the reason I'm taking them is because I'm gonna take them straight off, and then it, later on when I get a bit cooler after I've been in the sea, I've got them with me to put on. Um, I've then got the same beautiful pink bikini on underneath, and I've thrown my Asino white shirt over top. You just can't have too many white linen beach shirts or everyday shirts, so I've got that on as well. Um, super minimal like super minimal makeup and I mean because there's no point I'm about to go in the sea and then my Tom Ford tortoiseshell sunnies that's kind of the look for today honestly like I am when I come to Cornwall I feel no pressure to take pictures I feel no pressure to do any work I have no pressure to put on lots of makeup and look a certain way I just want to feel myself so I'm just really, really enjoying it. Such minimal makeup, such minimal fuss. Oh, yeah, it's been it's been a wonderful trip so far, hasn't it, babe? It's been great. It's been amazing. Sure. We've both just needed to sleep and have time together and lots of good chat. Do you know what I've not shown you yet? The car. I haven't shown them the car yet. It's outside. And we drove all the way here in this car and it was the dream. In fact, did we tell them how amazing the trip was? We made the trip in four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? absolutely unbelievable we had no traffic at all not even a slight bit of traffic and we i mean we started the journey at 6 a.m and we got here we literally got here at 11. it was amazing and that's with one stop as well for a for a greg's vegan um sausage roll so oh lot baby is literally fast asleep he is he is so shattered. He is constantly go 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 all day and he usually has his little naps throughout the day he's not been able to do that so he is just so zonked. I just feel like if he could just chill on the beach and sleep, he'd get a good few hours in, but he doesn't. He wants to play with his ball constantly, over and over and over. Throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. He's just absolutely obsessed, isn't he? Which is really sweet, and he's absolutely in, like, he's in love with the beach. And he's not been having too many sandy poos either. No, he had one really sandy poop that was literally just poop. We took a poop, ball, literally just sand. Here rubber ball basically just collected the sand and then he sits there chewing on it and yeah. then he was just basically doing sand poos. Yeah, but then the tennis ball I don't think is much better, really. Well, sand poos aren't as bad. And then also he gets wet and when he gets wet, oh, I know how dogs rub their face on the carpet to, to get the water out of their ears. He's been doing that on the sand and then he's just got a full face of sand like he's literally a sand monster and it's like Bo, what are you doing? This is silly. <laughs> I think he realised after the first or the second time and was like this isn't a good idea. So my brother and Chantelle are here. They've just arrived and they've already gone in the sea. Alex is already in the sea. So it's just, just me and Bobby on our feet. A little deck chairs in the sun. Must have bombed. We're back, it is. So it's our final night in Newquay, so I thought I'd make more effort. So put on this really beautiful, um, what colour would you call this? Green? Peppermint sounds nice. <laughs> Nana's bathroom had me. It's a full, um, well, it's more midi, but it's nice and tight. So, really love this. I'll leave, I'll leave it linked down below. With that, I've got my little green Bulgari Casablanca collab bag. I am also actually wearing a brand new piece oh, well. from Edge of Ember, but I've just turned it around because I can't really show you this yet. <laughs> but I really want to wear it tonight. 
and uh, otherwise just a big full face of makeup and I have wet hair so I've just thrown it back into a tight ponytail because I was not drying this again that's for sure however I just had a fantastic spa treatment at the headland wonderful hour-long massage it was absolutely heavenly like divine totally needed that so a fantastic time and then very quickly got ready and now we're going out for our last evening no it's not a last evening technically no we eat tomorrow don't we? we're eating out tomorrow but yeah we're going back to toast where we went the other day for some tapas look at toast again we've got a few different things prawns chicken skewers halloumi avocado meatballs potatoes bravas nachos camembert stew Bro and Chantel. Well, it's our final day and someone is pooped. Big time. Me. And someone this else. Guy. That guy. And me. We're all pretty tired. We didn't have a very good sleep last night, but it's okay. Ooh, it's very bright. Um, we're going to enjoy our final day today by going to Padstow. We actually haven't done much outside of Newquay this entire trip. So I'm sorry if it's literally just been me in the mirror being like, this is what I'm wearing today, this is what I'm wearing today. That was what it was meant to be, just a holiday and a chill time. But today we're going to Pasto. Um, we're gonna quickly though go for our favorite coffee, obviously at Box and Barber, because that's the way we start our days. And then we'll be on to Pasto, but we have not yet shown you this car. So I'll, um, while we're now bringing everything downstairs now, we can pack up the car and I can show you. This is our new ride, guys. The brand new Range Rover. This is the sport version. It is absolutely massive. You might remember that we did the Range Rover road trip around parts of the Cotswolds. And um, this is what we were driving. And now we get to drive it for a couple of months to test it out, which is just absolutely amazing. It's already getting a little bit... <laughs> A little bit used from obviously our journey but with this huge screen this huge screen it's also got a heads up display it's just been the dream to drive like all these little compartments to put your bits and bobs in there's like a charging dock there it's it's just been dreaming and then obviously in the back we've got Bo right here in the very middle <laughs> we've got our bits and bobs now we've got all of our all our things packed in here now for the journey home in a little bit but yeah we've got Bo in the middle and he's loved this he just slept the whole way here but there are also tv screens i'll give you a proper look at this later when i get back but and then we've also got the uh <laughs> it feels like you're watching a movie through this it's really funny but yeah this is the the mirror <laughs> To look back um yeah so it's fantastic it's so nice we'll give you a bit more of a tour later when we're in here but all packed up ready to go we're on our drive home we've had a really lovely meal really lovely curry at the corner charms another rick stein restaurant i mean you can't escape rick stein let's be honest you can't really escape him here but you know he's a very successful man he's done very very well some good things so yeah we've had a lovely meal and now we're on our way home so it's half six so I'm hoping we get a really good run home. See, so, yeah, this is the car, guys. It's um, it's a beaut of a car. Huge screen, which is just yeah amazing for navigation. But you've also got a heads up, so I can see where I'm going, and see what the speed limits are, etc., etc. Every time you get a text that's popping through here at the minute, isn't it? Is it? I think you can download a bunch of different apps and stick them all here. Yeah, and it's got CarPlay, which is cool. I'm pretty sure as well that it's also voice activated, but you've got to like set that up with um, Google and whatnot. Mm. It's got a lot, a lot of cool features. If anything, it, for the fact that it's like a five hour drive, it's so comfortable, massive. I just love how big this screen is. And for such, obviously it's a very large car, which I always thought would be like too big for me, you know, it'd be hard to park, etc. Actually, it's really not that bad whatsoever it's not it's, bad at all the fact that it can turn in the in the same circumference as a mini because all four wheels move separately and individually it can turn in within within like a two meters of itself or something it's absolutely amazing yeah, check that out. and it's got all the different video we screens can read quickly. so you can constantly see where you're going um, like if you're reversing, you've got like a bird's eye view and all this. It's just, yeah, it's so intuitive. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's absolutely brilliant. That is, but this still blows my yeah, mind. Yeah, this this is so brilliant. 
like for if you wanted to like park somewhere. It's literally like watching a video game of us driving. Right yeah. <laughs> so yeah, right, we've got another four and a half hours ahead of us. So we will catch you in a couple of days, Gav. How's it going guys? How are you doing? We are back now at the house to a lovely 28 degrees, which is just wonderful. Um, you will notice my nose is a little red. I did unfortunately burn my nose a tiny bit on the trip when I was out in the water surfing. I mean, so easily done, but maybe I should have gone in and maybe put some more sun cream on and gone out again for another 20 minutes or so. But yeah, it's all just come off and come off and come off. And um, I feel a little bit of a red nose, but of course I'm not wearing any makeup today. I'm just having a really wonderful Sunday and um, I've just been, I've just made me and Alex a wonderful double fried egg McMuffin pretty much, um, not Mc, or Mag Muffin maybe I should call it, Mag Muffin, something in that. I've also just sat down and written a blog post about why I don't want to have children. I know I've done my YouTube videos before, but I was like, do you know what? I really fancy writing this down in more of a blog post thing where people can find it online. Um, so I've just done that, really enjoyed that. Had my ice latte whilst I did it. And otherwise, I've just been admiring my beautiful bouquets that arrived whilst we were away. So in the spirit of the fact that this vlog is my, uh, what I got for my birthday video, um, a few presents right here. The first one being the most beautiful white roses and white lilies bouquet from my Bulgari family. In fact, I'm thrilled to say actually that I have just re-signed again with Bulgari um, for another term. So uh, very, very proud of that. I mean, it's just the most incredible ambassadorship. I'm so lucky. Secondly, this hydrangea and... Oh, what is this beautiful thing called? Oh, I really should know this. A lily um, bouquet. This is from Jimmy Choo, and I'm pretty sure this has also come in its own vase as well, which is wonderful. In fact, do I recognise this vase? I don't think I recognise this vase either. So I think both have come in their own vases, which is always wonderful when that happens. So thank you so much to Jimmy Choo and to Bulgari, both teams that I adore working with so much. This was also a beautiful little present. I absolutely love it. I can't tell you how much I love homeware like this. This is off one of my best mates, Charlotte, um, from Popolo, if you like it. It's a gorgeous little Italian jug. I absolutely love it. And it looks so beautiful here actually with the flowers. Absolutely in love with that. So that was another present. I also have this stunning, absolutely stunning bouquet right here as well. Again, which arrived recently, but this doesn't have, this doesn't have a card on it, which makes me so sad. So whoever sent these, thank you so, so much. In fact, these might be from Saint-Tropez. These could be from Saint-Tropez. I know that Saint-Tropez was sending me a wonderful bouquet of roses. So thank you to Saint-Tropez. Um, I think that might be those. It's just the, um, the labels have got muddled and lost somewhere. Uh, but just so thrilled. I absolutely love florals, so wonderful. I also got a really gorgeous birthday timed gift actually from an Instagrammer I love. She's called Holly and she has a, um, an Instagram called The Little Blog of Vegan. Um, and she's just done this really lovely collaboration with Laura Fisher on her own like homeware set. So it's gorgeous oven gloves. Perfect actually, because I needed some new oven gloves. So this could not have come at a better time. Super lovely, just lots of little baking symbols all over. Um, and she also very kindly sent me the matching, um, the matching tea towel as well. It's just really lovely and it's just great colors for the kitchen. And I was very lucky that she did also send me the pinny as well. There's a full pinny that goes with the range, and I did not expect this. Oh, there's a blue bottle right behind you, which is very annoying. So again, a big thank you to Holly for such lovely little homeware gifts. In fact, talking of homeware gifts, another homeware gift that I have right here was a wonderful gift from my best friend, Rebecca, also the girl that works with me, who I talk about all the time. You believe so sick of me talking about her. Anyway, Rebecca is my bestie. And she bought me this incredible Dior book. Again, completely unexpected. Um, I love the way it's got this ribbon running through it. It's so cute. Um, but this is much more about Maria Grazia and her inclusion to the Dior family, really. So it's all of her designs. I'm pretty sure this is a Maria Grazia book. 
Whereas I have a number of the other Dior books I'm collecting in a row. And I know the Maria Grazia book will be coming. Likely, obviously, when she leaves, then there's someone else so they can complete her entire book of work. Uh, but until then, I think this is just such a wonderful book. I didn't have it already. Um, so that was a big, big surprise and just a really wonderful treat. Another technically homeware gift. So my dad and my stepmom, Trish, bought me one of these cute little veg trugs so I could harvest some of my um, vegetables and fruits in the veg patch. And I really, really wanted one of these, so it's actually the most perfect gift and have anything like this to, to use. So they bought me this, and they bought me a pair, a little pair of snippers. Again, I didn't have these, so they've loaded me up on really good things that I needed to use. And they very kindly bought me a really cute pair of gardening gloves as well so I am all set in fact I need to go and harvest my peas. Hydrangeas still looking absolutely divine unfortunately a couple of them are dying. This wisteria as well has grown more so over the last week that we've been away which is crazy. Hydrangeas looking fab some of them however are starting to turn a little bit brown which is really sad but this wisteria is amazing. We also how great do these hydrangeas look here as well along the back of here? We have some more hydrangeas. So these hydrangeas here are going to be going in the front garden. So I've just had these delivered ready to start potting up in the front garden. Bear in mind that it's just been hydrangea season and so obviously a lot of these are going to be starting to turn brown really soon. But I thought rather than buying twigs and leave them in the front garden for a whole year, I thought let's at least get the Annabelles and then we can at least keep the heads on them so at least there's something of interest in the front garden for a little bit of time so again here we have a row of lavender that's ready to go in the front garden so slowly but surely we're getting there with the front garden i just need to get some irrigation put in and we need to get the the whole patio and everything sorted out there but it's getting there maybe one more week and we'll be done on that however my lamb's lettuce is looking amazing so i might pick some of this and whilst we've been away it looks like my gardener has cut a bit of this down a little bit and some bits are oh unfortunately we've lost some but i've still got some goodies here so i'm going to now harvest a number of my peas what kind of peas are these these are alderman peas and they're so delicious i've just been eating them out of the just eating them out of these I've got my peas, I've got my lamb's lettuce, and I've got my carrots. I mean, there's so there are so many more on here, but there's just no point in me taking them off. And in fact, I might take off a couple of apples. Hello, baby. <laughs> you are ready, and you are ripe, and ready for the taking, my boy. Come with me. Come with me. Thank you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Any more? Any more? These ones are a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, which is good. It gives me time to eat the other ones. Okay, cool. And then... My little pears, where are they? Oh, look at them! Look at my pears! My little pears. Cute. Right. Okay. I mean, I've got so much lamb's lettuce here, I don't really know what to do with it. But I'm gonna leave these beans on here, maybe for another day. Jasmine is divine. Got all these cute little sweet peas as well, clambering up the sides. As someone who wasn't really interested in gardening, or about my fashion and beauty, I mean, you can be everything, you can be everything you want to be, but I just wasn't that interested in gardening. But honestly, when you see these things coming out the ground, when you've got your own little veg truck filled with veg, look at this. This is fulfilling. This is very fulfilling for me. 